so nice to have you here. Wonderful to be here. When I read all these things you're doing, I'm thinking, you don't sleep, do you? Not really. <laughs> I mean, you have so much going on. I mean, just doing Inside Edition alone yeah. is a more than full-time career. Uh, but I always have admired, you've never shorted your children, your family life. That still remains the core of your life. Well, thank you. I try. I try my very best. It's a constant juggle and balance, but I have a very supportive husband. He's an incredible teammate, supportive family, and we believe at the end of the day, this is where God wants us, and this is what I'm supposed to be doing to shine a light. Um, so thank you for saying that. I, 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 it's greatly increased my prayer life to do all these things. <laughs> but I think it's important that you've remained with a, a clear focus on your spiritual life and, and how you've got to be uh, a spiritual example yeah. to your children. Yeah. Is that what was sort of the foundation of One More Hug in this book? Yes. I have three young children now, and I got to be honest with you. I feel like I can interview celebrities and newsmakers, but when my four-year-old asks me a question, I'm terrified. <laughs> being, a, being a parent has, uh. has, has been just a time for me to go, gosh, what do I really stand for? What do I believe in? And like I said, I'm, I'm praying constantly, Lord, how can I be a good parent? And I got really worried. There was a point in my life when I was really worried that I wasn't doing everything right. We're at the bus stop. My son is in kindergarten and the bus rolls up and he runs back to me and he says, mama, mama, one more hug. And he must've done that four or five times all through kindergarten. Oh. And it was God speaking to me. I really believe in going, maybe it's as simple as just offering one more hug right now. So I wanna know, does the four-year-old get royalty since it really was his <laughs> right. idea? Right. I mean, come on, Megan. I mean, the kid came up with this idea. You should be giving this boy some, some uh, real royalties. He gets off. bragging rights on the playground. Okay, all right. <laughs> he can say, that was my idea. That's Mama right. stole it for me. She's a plagiarist. <laughs> no, but it, it, it's, it's, it was You fun. know he's going to grow up and sue you. You know, I mean, Please no, know. I'm just kidding. Right? He's not going to do that. <laughs> um, but it was fun to write the story together. And I mean, just to have this moment in our family and have the conversation of, especially for young boys, it's always okay to ask for affection and reassurance mm. and encouragement. Because being in the media, I see that very quickly we tell our boys, you know, wipe those tears, toughen up. I think there's a way we can encourage guys to certainly be strong and tough and leaders, but it's still okay to run back for a hug and show that emotion. Because don't those ultimately make the best husbands and fathers? I'm so glad that you're giving that message out. Yeah. It's almost that somehow masculinity is supposed to be robbed of any sense of emotion. Right. And, and I think that is such a great message that your book is uh, teaching kids. So I knew it's for boys or girls, but this is a great book Thank you. for little boys. Thank you. Yes. Say, it's okay to go hug your mom. Absolutely. And let me add, <laughs> it's okay to go hug your, your grandfather. It's perfectly yes. good to do that. As you should. And I have had grown men read this book and say to me, I still want one more hug from my mama. It is a great <laughs> message and a terrific book. Uh, I would say for children, but I think this is probably a pretty good book for some adults who need to do a little hugging too. <laughs> so let me just say one more hug. It is available on Amazon and you can learn more and get an autographed copy what a great Christmas idea, right? And you can get that at MeganAlexander.com. If you want to keep up with Megan on Twitter, uh, just follow at MeganAlexander. Visit iTunes to hear the beautiful song that she co-wrote and recorded that is inspired by the book. The song, well, guess what? It's called One More.